Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will learn how to manually approve Windows updates in WSUS 2019. Computers are going to automatically contact the WSUS server to obtain updates. One of the most common management tasks on a WSUS server is to approve the available updates so that the installation process proceeds to the individual clients. The approval of updates is an important asset for a system admins as they have the ability to approve updates on a small test portion of the infrastructure and if everything is working properly then they will approve updates for the rest of the infrastructure. To open WSUS admin console we need to click on a start button and then we need to click on windows admin tools. Let's double click on windows server update services to open the console. On our WSUS server, here we can verify that two computers are there which are asking for a Windows updates. Let's expand our server name and let's click on updates. Here you can see the summary of the status of the updates. As you will see, the individual sections are separated into all updates, critical updates, security updates, and WSUS updates. In security update sections, I'm going to click on updates needed by the computers. That will take us to security update sections and under status as you can see needed is selected. Even in a future, you can directly click on security updates and from this drop down menu, you can select the needed options and then click on simply refresh button to get the list of all the updates. These are the updates which are needed by our client computers. To approve the updates, you need to select that update, right click on it and select approve. By default, all computer is enabled, but you can approve the updates for each group individually. And that's why I'm going to approve this updates for our Windows 10 workstation. So let's select approve for installation for workstation group only. Click on OK. Let's click on close button and this update is now approved for the installation on the computer's group name workstation. And right now we have only one computer account name windows 10 pc dot must be noob dot lab. This is the computer account of our windows 10 client pc. Let's again click on security updates. I'm going to approve certain other updates as well. For example, select this update. And suppose if you want to select multiple updates at the same time, then press Ctrl key and select other updates, right click on it and select approve. We want to approve these updates for only workstation computer group. So right click here and select approve for install. Click on OK and click on close. Let's click on member server. And here we can verify that under download status, updates needed files total 3. And it is going to download around 395.13 MB of updates data from Microsoft Update Server, which is going to take some time. And once WSUS Server complete downloading, after that, this update will be automatically installed on our Windows 10 client computer. Okay, our WSUS Server finished the downloading of that update from the Microsoft Update Server. And now that update will be installed on your client computers based on the settings which you have configured in the group policy. But for the purpose of this lab guide, we are going to test it manually. Let's move to our Windows 10 client PC. Let's click on start button and let's click on settings icon. On settings, I'm going to click on update and security category. Let's maximize the console. And let's manually check for the update. Let's click on check for updates button. And as we can see, we have four updates available to download from our WSUS server. And as you can see, downloading is going on. This downloading doesn't mean that this Windows 10 PC is downloading updates from Microsoft Web Server. Right now, this client is downloading updates from a local WSUS server. And once the downloading completes, after that, this Windows 10 PC will start installing these updates to the local system. And if required, it will also ask for the restart. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps 
to manually approve and deploy updates using WS 2019.